Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the scalene muscles. And before I talk about this group of muscles, I need to show you where you can find them. And to do so, I'm showing you right now an image of the interior view of your neck with some of the muscles that you find in this region of your body. And I'm going to now just remove all of these muscles to just expose the group that we're going to be talking about, which is the scalene muscles. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about their anatomy. So we're going to be talking about their origins, insertions, innervation, functions, as well as some related clinical aspects. And in addition to their kinetic functions on the neck, they are important accessory muscles of inspiration. So it is important to learn and understand how they work. Now the scalene muscle group contains three muscles that are located at the lateral neck, as you can see here on this image. So on the sides of your neck, and these are the anterior scalene, the middle scalene and the posterior scalene. Sometimes there is a small fourth muscle which is known as the scalene minimus. And generally speaking, the scalene muscles, as you can see here on this image, they run from the vertebrae on the neck and then go all the way to the ribs and they're able, when they contract, to lift the thorax. Let's start talking about these muscles and the good news here in terms of innervation, you only need that all scalene muscles have the same innervation coming from the cervical plexus seen here highlighted in green from this image, as well as some parts of the brachial plexus. And now let's talk about the first scalene muscles that you see here. These are the two anterior scalene muscles, one on each side of your neck. In terms of origin point, they will originate from the anterior tubercle of the transverse processes of C3 all the way to C6, so the cervical vertebrae. And then the muscle is going to run caudally to insert at the first rib, as you can see here on the image. They insert at a tubercle which is known after the muscle as the scalene tubercle of the first rib. A bit further behind, we're going to find these other two, which are known as the middle scalene muscles. And they originate at the posterior tubercles of the transverse processes of C3 all the way to C7, as you can see here on the images. So the posterior tubercles of the transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae C3 or third cervical vertebra, all the way to the seventh cervical vertebra. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full length video and master anatomy.